to discuss about sternum which is also called breast bone and its type is elongated and flat bone and there are three presenting part of this bone i am showing here this is membrane sternum this is body and this is gyphoid process okay and now anatomical position of this bone on human body anterior surface of membrane sternum is flat smooth convex from side to side concave above downward superior border of membrane sternum is membrane sternum is broad thick in the center there is presence of jugular notch this is jugular notch on the side there is presence of oval articular facet which is directed upward backward and laterally anterior surface of body is nearly flat directed forward slightly upward and marked by three transverse ridges here the transverse ridges are seen by red demarcation and now i am going to discuss each and every part of bone membrane sternum it has two surface anterior surface and posterior surface and four border upper border or superior border two lateral border and one is lower border when we see this bone from outside it is quad collateral in shape broad thick in upper part and there is presence of jugular notch this is jugular notch on which intraclavicular ligament is attached there is presence of two oval articular facet for clavicle in the membrane sternum on its side the external end of clavicle here attach and form sterno clavicular joint okay i am going to see i am going to show the attachment between the clavicle and sternum this is external end of clavicle and this is acromial end of clavicle acromial end binds with, uh, made of joint with acrom uh, acromial process of the scapula and this is external end of clavicle and formation of the sterno clavicular joint okay this this is saddle type of synovial jo synovial joint sterno clavicular joint which is saddle type of synovial joint ne articulates with upper border of sternum and forms membro sternal joint lower border upper border forms a membro sternal joint which is secondary cartilaginous joint remember this this is a midline joint of a body which is secondary cartilaginous joint here we can see the this bone here the membrane sternum and body lies in slight different plane so there is formation of one angle between this bone okay this is known as sternal angle or angle of lewis here there are some important of this angle this is a bony landmark and helps in counting of ribs it is also the landmark between superior and inferior mediastinum in adult trachea bifurcates at this level but in infants it bifurcates one vertebra upper beginning and end of arch of aorta in this level pulmonary trunks divide into two arteries just below this level superior vena cava pierces the fibrous pericardium and arch of azygous vein terminates it is also the junction between two discontinuous dermatom that is cervical four segment above and second thoracic second segment below lateral border lateral border there is a presence of two facet here we can see that two facet first in first there is attachment with cartilage first costal cartilage and form first chondro sternal joint okay first here the first costal cartilage comes and attach and form first chondro sternal joint which is primary cartilaginous joint remember here is the formation of costro sternal joint which is primary cartilaginous joint and later after 25 hours it will replace to bony joint next facet is present here which forms another costro sternal joint remember that first costro sternal joint is primary cartilaginous joint but this is not a primary cartilaginous joint remember this is this is a synovial joint and don't become confused on costro sternal joint and costro condal joint costro sternal joint means joint between 
कोस्टल कार्टिलेज एंड स्टर्नम विच इज साइनोवियल जोइंट एक्सेप्ट फर्स्ट कोस्टोकोंडल जोइंट रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग एंड कोस्टोकोंडल जोइंट कोस्टो मीन्स रिप कोंडल मीन्स कार्टिलेज जोइंट बिट्विन रिप्स एंड कार्टिलेज ओके दिस अल कोस्टोकोंडल जोइंट आर सेकेंडरी कार्टिलेज जिनियस जोइंट एंड सर्फेस हेर आर टू सर्फेस अफ दिस बोन एंटेरियर सर्फेस एंड पोस्टेरियर सर्फेस एंटेरियर सर्फेस गिव्स ओरिजिन एंटेरियर सर्फेस गिव्स ओरिज ओरिजिन टू द पेक्टोरालिस मेजर ऑन इच साइड नियर द लैटरल बोर्डर एंड विच गोज डाउनवर्ड टील टू द बोर्डर ओके पेक्टोरालिस मेजर ओरिजिन अफ पेक्टोरालिस मेजर हेयर एंड इट्स गोज लोअर टू द बोर्डी and also the external head of sternocleidomastoid muscles is origin take place here tendinous origin of sternocleidomastoid take place if the pectoralis major is origin from here then the stern, uh, tendinous origin of sternocleidomastoid is just above the pectoralis major and posterior surface posterior surface is slightly con concave from anterior and forms the anterior boundary of superior mediastinum here there are two muscles origin take place sternothyroid just sternothyroid in sternohyoid sternothyroid arises just opposite to the first costal cartilage extending downward and medially just opposite to the sternothyroid just opposite to the first costal facet third it origin below and side of the clavicular notch below and side of the clavicular notch relation of posterior surface of mandibulum sternum relation of posterior surface it is divided into upper half and lower half up upper half and lower half lower half would begins arch of aorta begins from lower half and in half part it will forms a one arch and start from one end and terminates in another end and upper half from left to right serially that is left brachiocephalic vein brachiocephalic tongue left common carotid artery left subcalvian artery A again i am going to repeat this upper half upper half from left to right okay left brachiocephalic vein brachiocephalic tongue left common carotid artery and left subcalvian artery on each side there is the anterior margin of both lungs with pedula sac and now now i am going to discuss about the body of the sternum body of the sternum this is the body of the sternum it is formed by four sternal segment called sternal v it lies just opposite to the fifth to eighth thoracic segment here there is presence of three transverse ridges which divides the body into four sternal sternibri and it lies just opposite to the 5 to 8 thoracic segment its broadest part is, is present on fifth costal cartilage the length rough calculation in rough calculation the length is twice of main from sternum presenting part of body there is presence of twin upper end and lower end upper end which is explained earlier lower end of main from sternum articulates with upper end and and forms manubrio stern manubrio joint and lower end lower end articulates with the gyphoid forces here we can see the clearly there is presence of gyphoid forces which forms chief sternal joint which is primary cartilaginous joint in in this sternum there is no gyphoid forces which is break broke down and here is presence of gyphoid forces which is primary cartilaginous joint and border there is presence of two lateral border presence of costal notch here we can see the, the different costal notch with articulates with third to six costal cartilage and forms costo sternal joint i already mentioned that primary costo sternal joint and other are primary costo sternal joint first costo costo sternal joint which is primary cartilaginous joint and remaining are synovial joint upper end is at upper end there is one demi facet which articulates at upper and lower end there is presence of demi facet and at the lower end there is presence of another demi facet which forms corresponding costo sternal joint surface there is presence of two surface anterior surface and posterior surface in anterior surface there is i already mentioned that there is presence of the three ridges that forms four sternal vein and 
pectoral is major origin take place in the mandibular mystery which goes down right. I already, already mentioned this and there is the origin of the pectoral is major muscles take places on the posterior surface on the posterior surface lower one third of the posterior surface origin of sterno sternocostalis muscle in the posterior surface that is the origin of sternocostalis muscle of posterior surface relation of posterior surface first we, we have to divide the posterior surface into two half right median plane and left median plane in the right median plane whole surface is whole in right median plane that is whole right long and right pleura because in the right median plane there is presence of right long and right pleura but in left median plane it is divided into upper half and lower half because in the left long there is presence of cardiac nerves due to this in upper part there is presence there is attachment relation with left long and pleura but in lower part it it there is presence of pericardium with heart Now I am going to tell about Gifford process. Gifford process has also two end, upper end and lower end. Upper end is described previously with forms uh, here bo lower bo end of the body and upper end of the uh, Gifford process form forms a one joint which is discussed previously. Lower end, lower end gives attachment to the linea alba and border that is presence of the two lateral border which gives which uh, which provides the ins insertion to the aponeurosis of internal oblique this lateral border gives insertion to the internal oblique and transverse abdominis abdominis and surface there is presence of two surface anterior surface and posterior surface anterior surface gives attachment to the external oblique and rectus abdominis anterior surface gives attachment to the external oblique and rectus abdominis where posterior surface gives attachment to the sternocostalis and external origin of diaphragm as you know that the diaphragm is some part of diaphragm is origin from external end and this posterior portion gives origin to the diaphragm and clinical case in rear condition the in rear condition external slips of diaphragm is congenitally absent and forms the, and the foramen margani appears between the gyphoid forces and rest of the diaphragm through which there is present of red retroesternal diaphragmatic hernia it is a rare condition ossification the sternum is developed from the fusion of two cartilaginous plate along the mid vertical line there is primary center of ossification for many from study and individual sternivory clinical clinical anatomy regarding ossification non union of two sternal plate cause ectopia cordis in which heart is exposed external if the there is not fusion between two sternivory then the heart is exposed outside that condition is known as ectopic cordis and from the sternum we can aspirate bone marrow external puncture by external puncture from the upper part of the manubrium sterni for laboratory investigation of rainbow red bone marrow okay it it is done in upper part of the manubrium sterni because to prevent the great vessels because i already mentioned that in the lower half there is the relation with the great vessels to prevent the injury of that vessels the bone marrow aspiration is done from the upper part this this in our body there are various bone but this bone is choose why because there is it is a subcutaneous no structure are injured it is most superficial it can be punctured by bone needle easily it con it contains red bone marrow throughout the life and there are some clinical features related to sternum that is pectus scavatum that is funnel chest lower end of sternum is depressed where the gyphoid process is projected forward this lower end is depressed and this is projected forward and the chest is funnel like chest in in this condition heart is pushed left side heart is pushed left side and lungs unable to expand okay leading to shortness of the breath and sinuses in the 
pectus scavatum. Lower end of sternum is depressed and heart is pulled on left side that cause unable to expand the lung and cause cyanosis and pectus carniatum or prison chest. Stern, sternum projects anteriorly, chest is flattened on each side. This may associated with proliferative change at the costocondral joint which is known as rickety rosary. And another clinical importance of sternum is if knuckle rub, if we, if we have, if we turn the knuckle rub to unconscious patient that may bring to the conscious, it is also an in clinical importance and okay, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then like, like the video and for, uh, for getting more video, subscribe our channel. Thank you.